Good morning, Bobby. It's Monday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's going there, Nick. It's going. Good morning, Bobby. It's Tuesday. So, sorry it's been a couple of weeks since I've made one of these. I've just been busy. Well, not that busy, but I've just been doing things, and I was waiting for you to make one, and you finally kicked yours out uh, last week, so I thought I'll try and make one this weekend, and I was working all weekend, and I just really didn't get around. All right, so this one's going to be pretty short. There's a couple things I did want to ask you about. Uh, number one, Ragnar Relay. So I saw that you liked on Facebook uh, the Crystal Mountain Ragnar Relay that's about to happen. I also like it, and I like the idea of doing it, but at the same time, it's $155 a person, and we need eight people. So if you and I want to do it, that'd be cool. We'd only need six other people. I know maybe three people that I might be able to get to do it, which would leave you to find three more people who are all willing to spend a, uh, a weekend camping at Crystal Mountain, running in the forest, and uh, are willing to pay $155 to do so. It looks like it's August 18th and 19th, which is a Saturday, Sunday. Anyway, it sounds like a lot of fun. I'd like to do it. I don't know if you have that much interest in doing it or if you have that many friends that would be willing to do it, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. It sounds like a kind of a cool community thing where you just kind of hang out at camp and then go running every now and then. Anyway, let me know what you think. Item of the week. So this week I have chosen LaCroix. Over the last, I don't know, two years or so, year and a half or so, I've been trying to cut most of the sugary foods I eat out of my diet. Not entirely. I don't think that elimination diets are um, sustainable. I don't think that I'll, I'm going to go the rest of my life without having a Coca-Cola. But at the same time, like I don't need to buy that stuff and keep it in the fridge at home. Um, so in an effort to reduce the, the, my consumption of soda pop and things like that, uh, I've, I've just stopped drinking soda. But I still have uh, a desire for something cold and carbonated, and beer is just as bad as soda for as how much sugar is in it. So I've been looking for something else, and LaCroix is a really nice option. Um, there's no sodium in it, there's no sweeteners in it, there's no artificial anything in it. It's carbonated water and natural flavors. Um, so there's just basically, it's like sparkling water with a hint of whatever particular flavor that you like. I find those quite satisfying and a little healthier for my pancreas than uh, drinking a can of Coke. It's been a couple weeks since I made a video, so let's talk about what I did two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago, I went on a hike with Nick on Monday. We went up to Lake Angeles, where it was still snowing, and uh, the lake was frozen solid. So winter's still clinging on uh, up at the higher elevations. I think Lake Angeles is only like 4,200 feet, but it's considerably farther west than uh, Mount Townsend was. Um, and on Wednesday of that week, I went up to Tubal Cane Mine. Again, not so much snow over on the east side of the mountains. Still snow, but considerably less. I, I didn't run into snow any at all until like 4,500 feet or so. And then last week, I went up to Baldy. Oh, I tried to go up to Baldy. I got about three quarters of the way up to up Baldy and was post hauling in snow up to my thighs and decided, yeah, maybe I'll just turn around. But while I was hiking Baldy, I noticed that uh, the opposing peak, which is Tyler Peak right next to it, was clear and dry of snow. So I went up there on Tuesday, or on, uh, excuse me. So I went up there on Thursday, uh, the day after I tried Baldy, and Tyler Peak was bare and dry all the way to the top. So that was a really nice view. I haven't been up to the top of Baldy or the top of Grey Wolf either. So those are all on the list once the snow clears off those other two peaks. I like to get up there. I like to get up to Maynard Peak as well, but I haven't been able to find a trail that goes up there. So that may not be quite as easy or accomplishable. I don't know. What else is going on? It was nice to see you and mom when you were in town for Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation a couple weeks ago. It's good to catch up over lunch. Sorry I wasn't able to hang out a little longer, but work is work. I'm glad to hear Hayden is speaking now. That's really cool. He wasn't at Christmas, so uh, it's just been a few months, and it's, it's neat to see he's, uh, or to hear that he's speaking in full sentences now. That's really cool. i got to learn to stop saying um so much. It's a lot of work to cut all those out. What else do I want to talk about? I don't know. It, it's not that much. Mostly I've been hiking a lot in my spare time. I really love having four days a week off. I know that's <laughs> that most people don't get that and, it, and I, I will be remiss when I have to have a normal job again that requires me to work every, or not every day, but requires me to work five days a week. That's not something I'm really looking forward to, but at the same time I've been very thankful to have this job here where 
I'm able to get full uh, full time hours in in three days, and uh, I have four days off every week to go spend a couple days hiking, a one day laying around doing nothing, and a day doing chores, and I get all my things done every week. So super appreciative for that. Cincinnati looked neat. Uh, sounds like you didn't really get to do much or see much other than business while you're there, and that's always kind of frustrating to be in new places and not really get to do much to experience the new place. I hope that you get more time to do more experience-like things. To quote a fictional character from a TV show, you only get one life, so do it all. As far as moving, I gosh, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I really like the idea of going down to the Virgin Islands or somewhere like that. That was a great suggestion you had. Things are good. Being that my life is in a bit of a um, uh, uncertain state for the next few months, I'm trying to decide... Well, I'm not trying to decide. I'm trying to find a Burning Man ticket. Uh, I didn't think I was going to go this year because the school was going to be starting a few weeks later and between moving and a new job and new school and all that kind of thing, I really didn't think it was feasible to try and put that into the planning. But now that I'm not doing school this fall, I'm going to be moving sooner or later. But at this point, without any certain plans, I don't think it's going to happen in the next month or two. So I guess like September or so is probably my next realistic move point. If that's the case, then I can go to Burning Man. I can afford to do it, uh, but I need to find a ticket. I have some friends in the community, and if I put it out there like I did last year, maybe I'll get lucky and get a ticket again. Uh, I mean, I can't afford to spend $1,000 on a ticket like they're going scalp these days, but if I could find somebody who's willing to sell me a ticket at face value, then I'd be able to go again this year. And you know, that's what happened last year. I wasn't able to, I didn't have the money when tickets went on sale to go buy one, but a week before the event last year, um, somebody I met the first year there was not able to go and sold me her ticket. So hopefully, <sighs> hopefully that works out again. God, that place is fun. Um, that place is really, really fun. Anyway, it was great talking to you. Uh, I look forward to seeing your next video. Have a good week. Later. Later.